Hey everybody, it's Marshall Monk here. This is going to be my Gotham The Primal Riddle. This is episode 17 of season 3. This is going to be my review for it. There's a lot of stuff to talk about, including the Riddler's big reckoning, like his big reveal to Gotham that he is on top. I didn't really love this episode with Corey Michael Smith. Uh, I thought his performance uh, as the Riddler in this episode was okay. Um, I did like the ending with his character, but kind of the parts in the middle were... Uh, yeah. We'll talk about it. Okay. So, Corey Michael Smith as the Riddler. Do I love it? Do I hate it? What's going on here? Well, his performance before, you know, in the past has been really enjoyable, and I've actually given him props for his Riddler performance. But this episode, eh, eh, it's been okay. I do like the banter that he has with Barbara, with Tabitha, with Butch. I like that. I like the banter quite a bit with those characters all together. And I do like that Riddler's kind of pulling their strings and calling the shots. But this performance of him on stage... No, I did not like when he crashed with the sword and everything, crashed his performance. I didn't like it. I thought it was kind of too, too on the nose, too, I guess not on the nose, too bold, right? It was like too, too Riddler, right? It was like, okay, you're a good Riddler, let's not oversell it. And this is like overkill, right? This is kind of like, okay, we get it. Let's not put too much into this performance, right? I mean, you're not a joker, right? You're not trying to, you're not trying to be this bold performer, you're trying to be an intellect, you know, you're trying to be smarter, you're trying to have a more, uh, you know, a better intellect than uh, the other characters on this show. That's what Riddler's all about, so I thought that that was kind of off. Uh, but I do think that Corey is the best Riddler that we're going to get. I don't know who's going to play the Riddler in the DCEU, or if they're going to have Riddler. If they are going to have Riddler, they're going to have to top uh, Corey Michael Smith a lot, because even though his performance in this episode wasn't my favorite, he's done really well in the past, quite well, actually. And I really fear for the people who are going to take over. But I did like the stuff at the end with the Court of Owls. I thought that the way that uh, he took the mayor hostage was amazing. I thought everything about that was awesome. Now, we have to talk about Poison Ivy and Penguin recruiting Mr. Freeze and Firefly. That was fantastic. I loved when uh, Poison Ivy and Penguin found Freeze's lair. I was like, oh, that's so comic booky. Uh, especially when Ivy was like, it's colder in here than it is out there. I was like, oh, yes. It's Mr. Freeze, it's classic Mr. Freeze, and I appreciate that from the writers quite a bit because, again, very comic booky. And I love Mr. Freeze on this show. He's actually pretty cool. Interesting character, the way that they flipped him around. Uh, now, Butch and Tabitha, again, I said that it's been really interesting seeing how they've been taking uh, Riddler calling the shots. I like these two characters quite a bit. There'll be a lot more about them when we get further on in the finale because there's a lot to talk about, especially with Butch's character. It's a huge comic book Easter egg. We'll talk about it again when we get to the finale review, which is quite a bit away from now, but it's coming, guys. Don't worry about it. I got these Gotham reviews lined up. Now, one of my favorite parts of the entire episode was this. Oh, my. OMG. We have the Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman scene. I loved when Selina was pushed out of the window. Not only was it a unique way that Gotham played around with that mythology, but they still paid tribute to Michelle Pfeiffer. Cameron Beacondova is a Michelle Pfeiffer fan. She's been one since she was Catwoman and cast as Selene in the first place. And a lot of people think that she looks a lot like Michelle Pfeiffer. I agree. And I think that she just played this perfectly. She's perfect as their Michelle Pfeiffer for the show. And I'm excited to see if that means anything. Like if they're going to go further on with the Catwoman lore. I know from the finale that they're teasing Catwoman. So I'm wondering how far they're going to go. But what did you guys think of the episode? I'm not going to get too much uh, into the rest of the episode. But it was okay. What did you guys think about it? Comment down below. I'm also going to be posting some more Gotham reviews. And then going to get to Supergirl. Eventually Comic Con's going to roll around. We have Raven's Home, Descendants 2. A lot is happening. So tell me what videos you would like me to do down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.